Seafood is a staple of diets in this country and around the world, but getting it is problematic. Overfishing is a serious issue in our oceans, and fish farms bring a host of health and environmental hazards. But now some innovative food companies are finding success with a creative substitute for seafood, fish fillets and other products made entirely from plants. And diners are getting hooked. When we serve these upstairs, a lot of the people don't know the difference. They between don't. Tuna. It doesn't look any different. No, Chef Brad Farmery's mystery meal is called ahimi, a vegan tomato product that looks and tastes like raw tuna. A must order at his New York City eatery, Saxon and Parole. Chef Farmery says the taste is so on point, even meat eaters order it. What percentage of your customers order your vegan options? You know, it's probably over the national average. We probably get about 15%. Really? Uh, but quite often when they see something where they can have tuna or the ahimi, uh, each guest will get one of each. And so that way they can taste, they can try, ah. they can compare. What did I do by just eating that as opposed to, uh, to real tuna tartare? So tuna are actually really overfished and there are a few left in the oceans. So our mission is really about protecting endangered species while bringing incredible flavors to the consumer. David Benzigan is CEO and co-founder of Ocean Hugger Foods, the company behind Ahimi. He says his plant-based alternative to tuna is cheaper, healthier, and environmentally friendly, and very much in demand. What consumers are really drawn to this product? We have, obviously, vegetarians are very interested in it, but it's much bigger than that. We have folks who are just looking to reduce how much animal protein they're eating for health reasons, those who are concerned about mercury, folks who are allergic to seafood, and we're seeing just a lot of millennials who aren't even thinking about why. They just think this is a really cool thing. They like to make a difference, and they're excited they can do it in such an easy way. The United Nations estimates 85% of the world's commercial fish populations are fished to the max, overfished or in decline. If you can give consumers everything that they like about fish, but do it with plants, it's gonna be 10 times as efficient and significantly less polluting. 100% of people in the developed world factor taste, price, and convenience into their decisions about what it is that they're going to eat. Bruce Friedrich heads up the Good Food Institute, a nonprofit promoting alternatives to traditional meat and dairy products. Although retail sales of plant-based seafood in the U.S. last year only totaled $9.3 million, Friedrich predicts sales of seafood alternatives will skyrocket like dairy-free milk, which 37% of American households purchased in 2018. As plant-based seafood companies come online with more and more products and consumers try them and consumers like them, we're going to see this market become a multi-billion dollar market in the next decade. Chef Chad Sarno is hoping to reel in some of those profits with his startup Good Catch. Look at this. It looks like tuna. So it does look like tuna. It does. That was the whole goal with, uh, with creating this product. So it's, it's a fish-free tuna. This fishless tuna is made of legumes and seaweed. You got to make a cookbook. You know how I suggest you do it? Hmm. By you eating in all the photos. <laughs> it can be used in dishes from pasta. And there you go, a fishless linguine. To rice bowls and sushi rolls. Could I make this at home? Of course you can make that at home. Everywhere you turn, there's, there's more statistics about what's going on with our oceans and the contaminants that are in fish these days, especially the plastics that are found in fish. And so being able to create something that people are used to when it comes to texturally, nutritionally, uh, flavor-wise, um, and functionality was really important for me for, from a culinary standpoint. So you are seeing a demand? A huge demand. Everything from fast casual restaurants to institutions and universities, the demand for plant-based has grown exponentially the past 10 years. Good Catch sells three varieties of its fishless tuna just under $6 a packet at Whole Foods. Later this year, customers will also be able to buy crab-free cakes and fish-free sliders and burgers. Mmm. 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 <laughs> that was a hit. <laughs> I'm, I'm a taco girl. That's awesome. As for Ocean Hugger, the company hopes its raw tuna substitute will win more people over at the sushi counter. Later this year, an eggplant eel and carrot salmon 
will hit the market. We hope that we can help tilt the scale so that we're not depleting the ocean so quickly and putting us all in peril. Um, but we'd see the opportunity just rising as costs go up and as resources go down for, for seafood products. You know, everybody asks me, does it taste yeah, like taste fish? Yes. Right? So I say, well, it doesn't taste exactly like fish, right. but the texture's great, and it's good. It's good. But, you know, I have a clean palate. I was a vegan for many years. Yes. Hopefully, you meat eaters, you know, give it a try. We'll it's come a, around. Yeah, it's a good point, though, also. Even if it's not about the health that you're not looking for that, think about what is in the fish. Think about the fish population. It is something, certainly, to consider. Yeah. All those other factors. She's a taco girl. <laughs>